In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the drum editor. I'm currently in audible mode and I have my track record enabled. This way, when I play one of these MIDI events over here on this great matrices, we're going to hear the note. And there, that's our kick drum, right? And I'm going to also click here, and that's my snare drum. And basically, I played this part in already, and it's only displaying the notes that I have played. Okay, not the full range of MIDI notes that are available to me in my MIDI track, right? So I'm going to click again on the snare drum. I'm going to change the velocity this way. Just click and drag this down. And you'll notice that once I play back the note now that the velocity is less, you will hear a very quiet velocity, a different sample. There it is, right? I'm going to put it back to uh, something a little bit louder, right? I'm not really looking for that sample. And yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. And we can also change the resolution of the view in the drum editor. It's really easy. Just press command and right arrow to zoom in and get a higher resolution. And command and left arrow to zoom out. And it zooms out all the way to a whole note. And if we click on the view resolution note here on the left, we can get all kinds of different options. You can even get like a dotted 16th or a triplet 16th note view, right? So here we have that. And let's just bring it back. I can also add other parts. There may be another sample in your patch that you want to be triggered, but you haven't played it so far, so you need to add that pitch range. If you want to do that, you just go to this drop down over here and add pitch range. And we're going to add C3, because I know there's a really cool ride symbol. And I'm going to make it just C3 to C3. That's going to be our range. I'm going to press OK. And now I just click here on the name of that note. And you can hear that right symbol. I'm going to press the letter P. And now that's going to bring up our pencil. And I can just click here. And now I have a right symbol there. Now if I double click on this note, I can select all the notes. And this is useful for a couple of reasons. You want to, you know, get rid of everything. You can just go Command X. I'm just going to change the resolution here, right? So here, let's do Command X, and we're just going to paste it to where the cursor is, which is at bar one, beat one, and we can move the cursor somewhere else if we want to paste it somewhere else. So this is really convenient if you just want to do a quick cut and paste, right? And the other thing we can do is we can see more than one MIDI track in the drum editor. All we need to do is go to the track selector at the bottom here, and that will open up the right sidebar, and we're going to select the hats and the ride crash MIDI track. So we can see all of them. We just have to click and drag this hand that appears over here on this tab so we can see everything. And let's arm the hats track, play a hat. And now let's arm the ride crash. Here's a crash. And here is our ride. So you can see that this is really, really easy for us for preview purposes, and especially if we want to disable some of these notes in the playback. Check this out. If we just press one of these blue play enable buttons here, we can get rid of the parts that we don't want to hear. We can get rid of the bass drum, we can get rid of the snare, we can get rid of the ride and the crash, whichever part you want to get rid of. And this way you can vibe things out and feel the part and really play it just like a drummer plays it.